Dolce & Gabbana's new beauty line launched and I kind of couldn't help myself. Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing with my purchase from the Dolce & Gabbana beauty lineup. My package I ordered directly from the website and it arrived just like this, the most luxurious and beautiful. Oh, actually this is like stunning. Of all the luxury brands I've ever purchased, even Dior, this one is the most beautiful packaging and like secure and sturdy. I have got to show you how well this was packaged. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got the snap over the front here. Snap, goodness. Comes with the receipt in a large envelope. Actually, it's very huge. I didn't need one that big. Very secure. All of my packages arrived in bubble wrap. I got rid of the bubble wrap already. And the, the boxes, the outer cartons are so beautiful. And I've already swatched the liquid lipstick. That's why my hand is <laughs> swatched up here. But everything looked perfectly packaged in here with bubble wrap, snug and secure. And I still had one disaster. It's amazing, never fails. And as a side note before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and touch base really quickly for my hair loss. There are timestamps down below. Click wherever you want to in this video and keep watching if you wanna skip ahead. But for those of you who lose hair very easily or are suffering from hair loss the way I am, a month ago I started the Vegamore Grow Plus Hair Serum. I am thoroughly surprised. This is coming from someone who was very skeptical. I called it snake oil to begin with, joking with my husband. I know I mentioned in a previous video about my hair loss. So I'm gonna zoom you in and show you all of the baby hairs that are growing through here. I had mentioned previously how I have large balding spots here and I've been using this every single night without fail and I can see so much hair growth. And you can tell because of the different color from my hair strands from where I colored my hair and the links here. I'm still losing a lot of hair postpartum. However, my forehead has been my biggest worry. This growth and thickness here is one month of using this serum every single night. I have a little bit less growth on the right side of my forehead here, but still enough noticeable growth that it's not one large patch of baldness. And I feel much more confident and happy about that. And I will definitely keep using the the last ones that I have. I bought a collection of three. This is my second bottle. I've got one more to go and then will be renewing my subscription for this. I'm so impressed. It always feels like every time I try to film, somebody is doing a lawn work. And I just cannot understand it. <laughs> I feel like I'm jinxed. Allergy season is atrocious right now. And I keep reminding myself that I need to go get some Claritin and I forget. So I'm looking a little rough for wear, that's okay. And I am using my new Glossier Invisible Shield sunscreen. I really like it, I do. I don't know if it's any better than the Super Goop, probably not, one, well this one's just a chemical and the other one's a mineral, the one that I have, so honestly they're probably just fine the same, but this one's an SPF 50 and my fair skin will take that. So this won't be a wear test or anything of that nature. This is just, I'm just gonna try it out. I'll do a wear test another day as far as skin tints go. They're not the best for me to do a wear test. They're okay. This is the shade, I wanna say 2C. Yes, I got mine in the shade 2C. And I think it might actually be a little bit light for me. I'm not sure, I'm gonna do a little bit of a dab. Oh, actually that's perfect. Oh, yay, okay. Check this out. That's, that's perfect. Oh, yay, okay, I'm happy about that. Let's do this. It's got a beautiful, cool pink undertone. I love that. It has a very soft floral scent. Nothing that's overpowering. I mean, if you have the Guerlain foundation, that is so overpowering for me. I struggle bust with that one so bad. All right, let's do this. Man, I guess with allergies, I definitely don't need a skin tint. I need more of a full coverage, so. The little dropper on here is nice, though. I do like that. I think that's very convenient. The weight to this is comfortable. That is nice. I like that. And this is a Melt Cosmetics foundation brush. It's looking good as far as the redness goes. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do my brows. I guess I can do those next. I've been trying to get into the habit of doing those first. 
off camera since I don't really enjoy the process. I don't even need to bring it down my neck. It's such a good color match. And a dense foundation brush like this in general is going to give me slightly more coverage with the, what I have on. Perfect. Hmm. Okay. That is actually really pretty. I'm not sure my Dior concealer is going to be light enough with that shade, but the finish is beautiful. I didn't build it up or anything. I'm not going to. Oh, actually, this will be okay. Okay. Just a little bit of this in places that I need. And then if it's too noticeable with my concealer, I'll just go over it with that foundation brush one more time. Just kind of bring it down a little bit. I may have used a little too much concealer for around my eyes. I meant to dab a little bit of that off. That's okay. I'm going to go over where I placed that concealer with my foundation brush that I used just to kind of help mesh that concealer and foundation together. Or rather skin tint. Blend it in just a little bit easier. And this way we have less noticeable concealer splotches. I'm gonna use my Dior Lavender Powder to powder <laughs> to set my under eyes. Wow, my allergies. I can't even speak. I will say this. It looks great so far. I haven't powdered the rest of my face. And it's set down. It has set down. Wow. I put that sunscreen underneath and I use that milk makeup. But the skin tint has set down. It's completely dried. That feels nice. I very quickly did my eyebrows off camera and I used my Jaclyn X... A robin powder the powder move sheer fair powder just to set this as quickly as I could and it didn't need setting but I wanted a sheer light dusting of it all right let's start with the bronzer and I just want to mention quickly there are 1.4 grams of product in here I got mine in the shade 01 light the weight to this it's just it's a little too heavy very luxurious but I kind of wish it were a little bit lighter this is such a beautiful bronzer. It reminds me of the Victoria Beckham bronzer from, what was that, Estee Lauder? The, I can't remember, the original one that she did so long ago. It kind of has that vibe to it. Look how stunning that is. I am just blown away. Okay, I'm going to swatch this. Ooh, it's got a bit of a sheen to it. That is a very light shade. Ooh, it's actually very soft. It's not a very powdery bronzer by any means. It's very, very light. Perfect for my skin tone. There's a very slight fragrance to it and it's so hard for me to find it. So honestly, it probably isn't a fragrance at all and it's more of just the makeup itself, but I'm gonna use a Sonia G. This is a Niji Pro brush to dust this on. Pretty neutral. Leaning a little bit golden. Maybe I need to use a lighter brush. Very beautiful color though. The tone is a little bit more huh, deceptive, but on my face it looks a little bit more yellow. On my hand it looks a little bit more neutral. I'm going to use a Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer on the right side of my face. See how that looks. A little less dense in placement. A little more airbrushed. The color works, I don't mind it. Kind of wish you were a little more neutral. The formula is so nice though, that's smooth. Let's do the same thing on this side of my forehead with the Niji Pro. I think you're gonna get the same result with both of these brushes. I use this one more for dense formulas, like a baked gelée, and I use this one more just like the powder formulas. So I don't think there was a difference with those. Very beautiful, very luxurious. I originally wanted to buy the Muted Mauve shade, but the website for Dolce & Gabbana said that it was on back order and I didn't want to wait. But I still think that is such a beautiful shade. I might end up getting it. This is the shade Happy Pink. No, this is the shade Cheerful Pink. And it's very, very pretty. It's more of just a, like a strawberry-ish color. I'm not sure, let me swatch it for you. Packaging once again, heavy, luxuriously heavy, slightly too heavy, but beautiful. I'm going to pick this up on Sony G cheek brush. Ooh, quite a bit. We'll be careful. It's a little more powdery than I think the bronzer was. Definitely a little more powdery. Yeah, formula wise, it's still soft and smooth, but it just feels a little more powdery. I'm 
I'm going to build this up quite a bit so you can really see the color to it. But I'll buff it down to blend it in much better. I'm struggling blending it. I, I, oh, is it just me? I'm struggling blending it. Maybe it's just user error. Maybe it's just me and my allergies. Let me try a different brush. I'm going to switch to a Refer 19. Like, I feel like I just have this splotch here on the front. I'm going to take my powder brush and just kind of buff it down and see if that helps a little bit. That's a little bit better. I'm not super happy with it, but it's a beautiful shade. It could just be me. It's looking a little bit better. I'm going to use the highlighter. I already know it's shattered. <sighs> I have had the worst luck with highlighters. The Charlotte Tilbury one, they sent me a replacement. That replacement came shattered. It comes with this beautiful little brush. I don't like the size of it for a highlight. I won't be using that. It's too large. I do really love this cotton sleeve. I think that's beautiful. Nice touch. This one is just so luxurious. It doesn't feel as weighty as the bronzer. It actually feels much, much lighter than the bronzer, which is odd to me. I'm not sure why there would be such a difference in size and weight. So the highlighter, I threw away the pieces that were completely shattered. You can kind of see in the pan here just how dirty it's become. I just know this is going to be too dark. Yeah, it's, it's much more golden, like a champagne gold. A little too deep for me but I'm gonna give it a try anyway today and see how it looks on my skin I don't know where my Sony G highlighting brush went I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this on my melt brush it's really pretty in fact I don't see any shimmer to it so if you don't like shimmer in your highlight this is actually nice it actually might work for me when I'm out in the Sun a little bit more it might be okay for summer what do you think? Do I look like it's a little too dark for me? This is the only piece of the DNG collection that did not arrive with my original video, so I'm going to edit this clip into that video. I have used this once already. I am iffy on it. When I used it the first time, when I tried to film it, it ate away at my makeup in my T-zone, started breaking it apart. Ingredients wise, it is similar to Hourglass, however, I would say quite a bit more luminous, but there's something in it that just kind of tore away at my foundation and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use this in my T-zone. Unfortunately, it just has a bit of a highlight type of sheen to it and it it's like trying to be like Hourglass, but it's not. So I'm gonna use this on a Sigma Kristen Dominique brush, just like I did the last time I tried to film this. And I'm going to just kind of place it around the perimeter and not my T-zone. It's definitely glowy. And I love a glowy powder, but not a powder that's gonna eat up my makeup. Not a first impression, definitely a second impressions, but I don't really like it that much. I'll keep trying it. This was like the only one I didn't really like, so. These are just the most interesting little lashes. They are the self-adhesive band from Lily Lashes. No glue needed. The band is pretty thick. I kind of messed up some of my liner here because I was trying to rearrange it. Definitely should have cut these, but the band is so thick, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to. I might just end up taking them off after this video because I'm not sure I like how thick the band feels or like how in the world they're supposed to work without glue and stay on. I'm going to finish this up with the lipstick. I have a brand new liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury before. I'm going to use this to outline. This is in the shade Red Carpet Red. The lawnmower is making it so difficult to film. I can't read the shade name on the back. I'm going to swatch it for you though. Ooh, that's kind of moussey very beautiful this is a brighter cherry red I love this texture ooh it's very lightweight I like that I don't really like the doe foot to here it's pretty tiny 
actually the size of the doe foot makes it easy to kind of get those corners. I'm curious why they introduced liquid lipsticks before a bullet. That's gonna be it for this look. I love the way it turned out. For a skin tint, I'm super excited to wear this throughout the day. I think the color is perfect for me. The undertone is nice. I love it. I'm excited to wear it for the rest of the day. I don't even think I needed to powder it. So, I mean, that's a plus. Between the bronzer and the blush, the blush is not so much my favorite in comparison. I like this less. I felt like the formula is quite different. Wasn't as easy to use as the bronzer. The bronzer formula feels absolutely much smoother. I have to wear it a little bit longer to see how I feel. The blush is the only thing that's kind of iffy for me. I'm not really sure I like the way the blush one blended out. I struggled with it a little bit which is odd because I don't think I should have. It's definitely a different formulation from the bronzer. The bronzer was chef's kiss. I'll definitely have to come back and update you on my thoughts. I just need more time to play with them. I don't regret my purchase. I think it's absolutely lovely. I wasn't interested in the primer. I don't want to spend that much money on a primer that I'm not sure is going to work for me, especially when I have primers that are that expensive that do work. And plus, like, I really don't want to have a whole bunch of primers to begin with. But for the rest of their lineup that they released, I'm happy with it. Blush, like I said, I'm iffy on. Bronzer, chef's kiss. Skin tint, absolutely gorgeous. Excited to see how it's going to wear for the rest of the day. As far as the, you know, I bought the finishing powder and it's not here. I think that one gets delivered tomorrow. So I am excited to try that one out. I'll have to reuse all of these things in a different video with that powder to see how they wear. The lipstick, make sure there's something on my teeth. The lipstick is really comfortable. The shade for red is, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Not my favorite shade, but it is gorgeous. Doe foot I could, I, you know, I'm a little iffy on, but I like the size of it for getting into those tight corners. Ah, interesting. Okay, so it does dry down, mostly. It didn't, I mean, it, it, it transferred somewhat. It's not bad. I've definitely had lip, li liquid lipsticks, excuse me, transfer much worse than this. I'm okay with it. I'll have to see how it feels for the rest of the day. It doesn't look like it's settling into my lines, but it's pretty. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Everything on my face is linked down below. Those links are affiliated, so if you click on those links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.